Live from New York, it's theCUBE. Covering Big Data New York City 2016. Brought to you by headline sponsors, Cisco, IBM, NVIDIA, and our ecosystem sponsors. Now, here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and George Gilbert. We're back, welcome to New York City everybody. This is theCUBE, the worldwide leader in live tech coverage. Kevin McIntyre here, is here, he's the data first strategy leader at IBM and he's joined by Nick Green, who is the director of BI and data management at Del Hayes America. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming thanks on. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Nick, let's start with you. Uh, Del Hayes, America, what do you guys do? Sure, um, so we are a traditional supermarket retailer, and so we are in the grocery business, and we own uh, two uh, brands that people might be familiar with, one in the mid-Atlantic called Food Lion, which is, has a rich history and a strong presence in that area. We also uh, have the Hannaford Brothers, which is further north in Maine, uh, outside of Boston, and so those two are our banners, and like I said, I run data for both, both banners. I'm at Hannaford at least twice a week. Oh, great, the that's here. great. <laughs> Marlboro <laughs> Mass. <laughs> and, uh, okay, and, and Kevin, your role is to help get clients to where they want to achieve outcomes, right? Yeah, so talk a little bit more absolutely. About that. So um, I'm part of our global sales leadership organization, and what we're announcing uh, this evening around our DataWorks platform, uh, we need a model in order to make our clients successful. So it's not just a focus on the technology, but the process, the strategy, the culture, and everything that needs to be in place in order for our customers uh, to be successful. So if I look at, um, if I want to make an analogy, um, maybe you want to start working out. You have a goal and you want to either uh, gain some muscle mass, lose a little bit of weight. You can determine, hey, I'm going to start running, I'm going to go to local YMCA, maybe I'm going to go to a really prestigious gym. Um, maybe you'll get the right outcomes doing that yourself. Running's not all that hard, going to the gym isn't difficult, but a personal trainer that comes in, puts a diet plan in place, looks at um, the specific kinds of workout, the timing, uh, making sure that you're motivated to do that. So Data First is kind of the personal trainer of the DataWorks platform uh, that we are launching. So bringing in that expertise and the strategy and repeatable patterns through workshops and methods in order to help our clients really um, partner with us as we uh, make them data-driven organizations. And, and Del Hayes was an early example of this process Process. Yeah. You guys kind of co-developed it and now you're taking that to market. Can we talk a little bit more about that? How did you guys get started and sure. where did it start? Sure, uh, so we can go back. I've been with the company uh, for going on three years now and actually it goes back to, we wanted to do some experimentation with, with big data and uh, this was very early on uh, in IBM's kind of cloud journey and especially from a data perspective. And so it all started with uh, we wanted to really try and do some work around weather and sales information and understand if there's correlations between the two. And that was really our first journey into this kind of big data space and leveraging the cloud. Because we knew as, uh, we're, we're in the supermarket business, we're grocery retailers, we're not technologists. So for us to try and stand up complex Hadoop clusters or no SQL databases, whatever the case may be, we really don't have that engineering skill set. And so we wanted to move fast, we wanted to do things uh, in a cost effective manner. We reached out to IBM because they're a strategic partner. And through that, we stood up, this was, again, before any of this really existed from a commercialization mm -hmm. standpoint. We really partnered with them to understand what the offering was that we needed. And what it started with was, I went to my client exec and I said, here's what we're trying to do and we have no idea what we're doing. Can you help us? And it, they really started pulling together resources from all over IBM to, to help us get that off the ground. And we've just evolved from there and that was, two and a half years ago, and we've continued to evolve, moved to uh, a number of the different cloud offerings with Bluemix and some of the other new technology that's been rolled out, and at this point, I think we're probably one of the clients who are using most of the technology in the, in the cloud space. And Nick, the problem you were trying to solve is you wanted to understand the relationship between weather and ultimately sales. sales yes, exactly. Uh, okay, <laughs> and what'd well, you find what out? what we find out? <laughs> <laughs> that's a well, secret. Yeah, yeah, it, it is kind of our secret uh, give sauce. Give us some but, uh, general direction. <laughs> Well, relationship. Well, you know, I think one of the interesting things about this is uh, for us, it was, 
we have very strong retailers. We have people who understand their business inside and out. And what this did was kind of affirm with data what they already knew. So it wasn't like we got these brand new insights. It was a great opportunity to try some new technology. So one of the things we learned is, um, and this, this may be revolutionary to everyone, but when it's hot, people tend to buy beer. So uh, that was one of the insights that we had. And they tend to stay away from things like veal. So um, <laughs> these were two of our big insights that we had. But more, more from that, it was understanding how we could work with external data, internal data, glean some insights, leverage the technology, understand how to innovate fast within our company. We'd never done anything like this before. Uh, we went from uh, just idea and concept to insights in a matter of weeks, which if we were to try to do this on our own, it would have been months if we were lucky. Well, the interesting thing about that example is, is it's external data, mm -hmm. right? it's weather data. You think the famous beer and diapers, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. right, from, <laughs> I don't know yeah, when that was from, that. the original data warehouse example, but it was. Yeah, for, for hurricanes, I, uh, no, it wasn't just, no, that oh, was, it was guys was who run out yeah. to, to buy diapers, grab a six pack right. or whatever. And so, but, but that was mostly internal data. Mm -hmm. right? The world has changed, uh, uh, and so, Okay, so so the, but what about the process around that? The 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 people, you know, and and the process sure. side of that. What did you learn from this experience? Well, what's I, I think what's really great about the relationship uh, we've had, and, and I think Nick's right. We have been working together for I, I think a little over two years at this point. Is that it? Doesn't want it? Just wasn't success in one area. I mean, that's a great application where they were able to um, look at that data and validate patterns or understand kind of the relationship between. Um, sales and weather, but we've also been able to work with them on new systems of engagement and new web and mobile applications for how um, their end users interact with their brand and really kind of come to work with Del Hayes. And then also providing kind of next generation analytics around customer loyalty and then looking at other unstructured data. So what um, we're doing with, with Data First is that ability to be very tactical with the problem. Maybe we need to better understand how we're going to engage with our clients with a new system of engagement. So there, there's, a, there's a problem and a specific outcome to that. So with this Data First method approach is helping them put together that executable plan to get them from where they are today to where they want to be in the future and understanding everything you need to know about getting there. The data movement, the security, the interaction, quantifying and qualifying um, the business value that comes out of that. So not just talking about feature function product, it's what is the process to make this a success for you um, as a client. And I think we've had tremendous success in being able to do that with Del Hayes across different projects and now um, with them embracing our technology and being kind of this cloud first, um, data driven organization and, and they're a marquee client for us. So with that experience, we've had with Del Hayes, we need to be able to um, really kind of package this up, put some structure and operationalize this method so we can work with hundreds and thousands of clients globally. And what I think is really exciting about this too is that I'm focused on making sure that we're not just bringing the IBM point of view um, to technology and um, becoming a cognitive business. We want to have kind of a community effect here where we can work with other partners both within IBM and outside IBM so they can bring in their credibility and uh, their expertise in helping our clients become successful on this journey. So does it start with a whiteboard and, and <laughs> a, a bunch of people? Who'd it started you, who'd with you a invite? mandate from the top. <laughs> um, but, but really it was, one of the things that we try to do is with, with IBM, because again, we, we see them as our partner, is really we talk about business problems. We don't talk about technology. We go to them and say, look, this is what we're trying to solve from a business standpoint. And we have multiple use cases like that that we've implemented. And when we go at it from a business problem standpoint, that may incorporate multiple pieces of technology, a single piece of technology. But it's about having an end-to-end -end solution. So when you think about an, an enterprise like ours or any company that uh, has kind of grown up in a traditional, uh, you make these capital investments, you depreciate those over five years, and, and you, you do these sorts of things, moving to the cloud and doing some of the things that we're doing now takes an, 
a dramatic shift. And I think just even from a financial perspective, it's very different than how you used to operate. You would build this, this big business model and a business case with this ROI, make this huge capital expenditure to bring in the technology, struggle for months to try and get it stood up, and then you hope to get the benefit out of it. What we're able to do now is really cut that cycle down, and we really focus on what's the problem. We remove the technology piece from the equation because we just say, look, we want this on demand, we want to be able to stand this up when we need it, answer our problem, and then see if new problems arise, or we spin it down and, and we're good to go. So it's really changed the dynamic of how we really go to go to market with our partners. What was the mandate from the top? Was it <laughs> was it accelerate cycle times? Yeah, it's really what we've seen is, as a business is really a transition to thinking about data as a key strategic asset. So for us, I would say when I, when I joined the company, we really shifted from data being an afterthought to whenever we're embarking on any type of strategy, we want to one, use data to understand how the, strategy is performing, but also figure out where do we want to go strategically. So we really started thinking about data first and thinking how do we incorporate data, how do we utilize this asset more effectively, and that's really where the my role started. And so for me it was how do we get speed to value quickly, how do we get the the outcomes, not focus on the technology, and that's really been the evolution so for So it's us. understanding, you had an understanding of how you make money, how can we enhance that with data? Absolutely. Really was the task, okay. I'm curious about, um, over time, how the mix went from consulting with IBM about outcomes towards um, having internalized the process of that consultation into repeatable technology. In other words, from a pure consulting engagement where you went to them with a you know, request for an outcome to when you could take problems internally and say, oh, we know how to solve that you know, based on all the experiences we've had. Yeah, well I can say one of the things that, that we're exploring now is uh, we've been working with uh, big insights in the cloud and we've been working on a supply chain project. Well, um, one of my leads who's running that is, is seeing multiple opportunities to leverage that platform beyond what we're currently doing. Now, Obviously, being in the tech space, big data has been a hot topic for a few years now, and there was no way that I could go to both my business leadership and IT leadership and say, hey, I want to spin up a Hadoop environment, and they look at me and say, for what? What we did is we saw a business problem and fit that business problem to the technology. Well, now that we have the technology and the capability in-house, we're learning as a team, we can understand how to use that same design pattern to address other business problems that are coming up or on the horizon. And so that's how we're really leveraging the platform. We've done the same thing with the Cloud and uh, NoSQL platform, and we, we're doing that over and over again, where we're seeing, we're using IBM to really understand how to get the technology up, how to start leveraging that for a very specific use case, but now it's in our portfolio, and now we understand how do we continue to expand that capability. Do you measure, um, do you measure your maturity in terms of, uh, I don't know, maybe the cycle time, you know, from, from initiation of project to completion of project, or um, do you measure it based on perhaps how much external skills you need to you know, source to get it done? I, I think my boss would like for me to do that. I think for, for us, what we're focused on is really just getting faster at turning around a solution to our business. Okay. You know, moving away from the, the challenges, the, the real engineering challenges of standing up a new database. There were times uh, in, in this company or in, in other companies where it would take months to stand up a new database. That, those are months that I'm not getting business value to my business partners. If I just simply remove that from the equation and focus on the business value, that's speed to market, that's speed to value. And th that, you, you can't, you can't really put a, a measurement on that because what we're really doing is shifting how we think about how we do projects. We've gone from, a, a great example, when we were re redesigning foodline.com, we used our cloud database uh, as the back end, and we had project managers who would say, okay, we're working on the plan, uh, how many weeks do you need to stand up the instance? And we say, it's, it's a matter of minutes. All we have to do is contact our partners. And they really could not understand, okay, then what do you have to do after that? That's it, it was an email. So it's changing how we think about planning, how do we think about execution, 100%. When you guys started working together, like who, who's involved? Who did IBM have to bring to the table? And, and who did Del Hayes bring to the table? What type of folks? There's more than IT people, obviously. And I think yeah, you so can describe so that. Typically, when we're 
kind of starting on a new project. There's a new business challenge or some outcome that um, Del Hayes or, or any other client wants to achieve. Um, it's really important for, I think, everybody to be aligned from the beginning. And when I look at it for what's going to be a successful way to get started, you need to have your business users, who, who is responsible for that outcome, who is going to get value from that outcome, someone who's technically going to deliver that and facilitate that outcome, and probably an architect who understands kind of the existing kind of lay of the land at that organization. And IBM brings in their um, uh, our enterprise architects as well that understand how our technology all works together. We bring in a business value consultant who can speak the kind of the lingo of the business value, understanding kind of industry uh, specific imperatives that are important to that uh, organization, and some technology experts. So we're able to understand, hey, this is the challenge you're facing today. This is where you want to go, and we're going to help you get put, uh, be put on that plan in order to get there through quantifying, again, the business value, understanding that outcome, and being mindful of everything that needs to happen in order for that to become a reality and bringing kind of those repeatable patterns of deployment. Um, so if they're looking at a, a new project where it's going to take technology X, Y, and Z to make, to make that a success, well, we can look where we've been successful in the past with other customers and, hey, we've worked with technology X, Y, and Z. This is how it's done. We've done this before. We've been successful. So put that to the side and we're going to focus on the other things that's going to make this really kind of come to life and drive the outcome that you're looking for. And it is about being data-driven and insight-driven. And the fact that Del Hayes is looking at data as an asset, and that is really what's going to help them make better decisions and how they're going to engage and make money from their clients, um, is, it's just they're a great customer to work with because not all customers have, um, have that mentality, and it's just been a great partnership. And Nick, this happened predominantly at Del Hayes America HQ? Or did you have like samples that you brought in from the stores or yeah. retail locations? Um, it was it was pretty focused on. We're a shared service within Delis America, and but we have very tight partnership with our banners. And so, um, actually, the president of Food Lion was one of the sponsors for a lot of the work that we were doing from a data perspective because she has such a great understanding of the value of data. And so she and I would work very closely together. It was really through her that I got great insight on some of the big business challenges. And then we kind of bring those back and say, how do we best solve that? How can we answer those questions quickly? How do we build platforms that allow us to iterate really fast? So she had skin in the game. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> she still does. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. All right, gentlemen, we have to leave it there. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate absolutely. it. Great Thank, you. Story. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. We're live from New York City. This is Big Data NYC, Data Week, Strata plus Hadoop. We'll be right back.